What's up guys? We're going to do a little review and shoot on the P365 today. It's going to be a good time. Check out the video. America! What's up guys? We're doing a little video on the Six Hour P365. You guys all know this gun. We're a little bit behind the eight ball making a video, but we thought we would run through it and see what our thoughts are. Cause you know, from a dealer perspective or a different user's perspective, sometimes it's a little different than what you see out here. So let's check out what all's in the box first. So here is a video of the gun itself. Now, one thing that I want to point out really quickly is that this is a limited edition tack pack configuration that are available at exclusive Sig Sauer dealers like Mr. Guns. This one's not available everywhere. The difference there, and there's a video about it if you wanna watch it, uh, I won't go into all the details of the differences, but most of these guns are going to ship with those little 10 round magazines like you see in the image there uh, that just have the little tiny lip. Whereas the tack packs will come with these 12 round magazines that are a little bit longer. If you want more details on the tack pack, just watch the video that we have elsewhere. So let's talk about the gun itself. That's what we're here to talk about. There are effectively, this is the base Nitron version. There are some other types. If you wanna see what those types are, um, I can show you really fast that there are a few different configurations here, such as the Romeo Zero version that you see left. Uh, those have the sight on top along with the XL, which is slightly longer. There's the 365 XL, and then there's the SAS, which has some rounded edges. SAS stands for SIG Anti-Snag. This one is the P365, the basic Nitron version. And that one, Nitron is their standard finish on the SIG guns. Doesn't really matter if it's a 226 or anything else. Usually the Nitron version is the standard. These are uh, both versions of this. There's a manual safety and a non-manual safety or, or no safety version of the gun. All of them are in nine millimeter. The standard version comes with those 10 round magazines as I showed you. The tack pack comes with 12 rounders. And then uh, the gun itself has, uh, it's considered a micro compact handgun because you can see the size that it is in your hand. The overall length here is 5.8 inches. The overall width is 1.6, which is very, very thin with a handgun. That, that has a lot to do with the comfort when you're carrying the gun itself. The height from bottom to top is 4.3 inches. That is just in the standard configuration. Of course, once you start adding magazines, uh, and various length that can change. The barrel length itself is 1.2 inches. I'm sorry, 3.1 inches. I'm not sure why I said 1.2. I like this manual safety version. I did not think that I would, but I actually liked this gun so much in making this video that I actually bought this thing for myself. I carried this around, I uh, went on a trip to New Orleans, carried it in New Orleans in my pocket and so forth. And that was why I like the manual safety is that sometimes I wanted to pocket carry instead of carrying either in this tack pack holster or I have another type of holster that I would use, uh, which is the Jason Winnie big problem solver I like as well. Uh, that's what I carry a lot of stuff in. The safety is also cool because Anytime you're about to holster a gun, that's the most dangerous time. It can get caught on something or whatever. It's kind of neat to be able to click the safety on, holster the gun, and unclick it. Most of my guns that I carry, Glocks and things like that, they don't have a safety, and you have to be super gentle and pay really close attention when you're holstering a loaded gun. Because after all, uh, in my opinion, you can't carry an unloaded gun. You don't have that much time in a defensive situation. So back to this gun. 
It is a striker fired gun like a Glock or anything else. It has a curved trigger here. Now, a lot of people complain that this trigger is mushy, and it is. I have to say, before I started carrying this gun, I thought, well, I don't think I want one because that trigger sucks until I actually run it. And then I don't notice that the trigger is a problem. This is actually the most accurate small uh, handgun that I have shot uh, out of the most popular ones out there, such as the Shield Plus or the Hellcat or that kind of thing. It's a very enjoyable gun to shoot. I love the sights on this firearm. It's hard to see the sights here. Uh, well, there they are. They're pretty good in focus. You'll notice that the sights themselves are quite small. That helps me as a shooter be able to hit better. This does have the green outline around it here, but it's not as big as some of those big green or orange front sights. In the dark, this thing glows like crazy. The night sights are fantastic. I love this gun in that respect. They're called the X-Ray 3 day and night sights is what SIG calls them. It does have the nitron finish over stainless steel. So let's take a look at shooting this gun and see what we think. All right, guys, this is the P365 at about uh, probably close to seven yards or so. That's the defensive range I like to practice with. Uh, is a, you know, when you're instructing somebody or something like that, that's kind of a, uh, uh, I guess you would say a longer defensive range. Now you can read up online about common defensive distances, but most of the time they're not very long. So it's good to practice at this distance. So we're going to see how this thing goes. These are 124 grain American Eagle. And I'm just hitting the center target first. So that went right where I wanted it. Let's bounce between some targets. That one hit a little off to the left where I wanted it. That one's right where I wanted to put it. That was right where I wanted to put it. That was right where I wanted to put it. Yeah, this thing is like, I pulled that one a little bit. But it's pretty much right where you want to stick them. That one just right next to the other. Just right on top of each other. See how that's happening? See how they're just stacking right up like that? That's what you want to see in a good little gun, especially one with a, with a barrel this short. When they start stacking on top of each other like that, like that center target, that's a pretty good uh, indicator that you're able to control your gun and that you have a good sight picture and that kind of thing. And also that the gun's fairly accurate. This gun seems to really like those 124 grain. All right, so we're about 15 yards and uh, I'm gonna just shoot a little bit and see how this thing feels. Low right. Dead center where I wanted it. Pretty close. That was a miss, I think. Okay, these are... I'm shooting reloads right now. 115 grain. Yeah, this is a little wilder than some of the other subcompact guns I've run. So we're going to move over. This is going to be 124 grain Federal uh, American Eagle. So let's run this and see if it's any closer. That was right where I wanted it. Oh, those are just stacking beautifully. A little left. I got a little wobble in my hands. I need to loosen up. Those are falling right where I want them. This is a pretty good distance with a small handgun. Yeah, they're stacking right up. Oh, that one's right in the middle too. Oh, that one's right on top as well. I'm spitting brass all onto my hat and shoulders. Little lesson for ladies. 
always try to use a collared shirt around your neck because you can drop brass down your chest. Not necessarily collared, but something that closes up. And in the hair, it's good to have a hat. Ladies can get, or guys with long hair for that matter, can get it caught in their hair. All right, well that looks really good uh, at 15 yards. That's a pretty tight group for a tiny little pistol. 124 grain American Eagle. All right, I'm gonna run this little dueling tree just for fun. So don't laugh at me if I miss. These are pretty small and I'm at about probably 10 yards. That was a hit, that was good. Oh, that was a good hit too. That was a great one. Look at there, cleaning house. Nice, that was a. Oh, that was a miss. I'm trying to move fast, so we'll see how it goes. I got another magazine. I'm hitting low on everything. Well, I'll say that, but I'm kind of trying to move a little quicker than what I normally shoot. That's probably the kind of training that I need the most is learning how to shoot faster, um, but I'm not terribly good at it. So here we go, top one, or second to top, miss. That hit, that hit. That was another hit, another hit, miss. Hit, 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 hit. Pretty solid shooting there for an old man. All right, very cool, man. This thing is a lot of fun to shoot. I've run shields, I've run the Hellcats, and now uh, running this one, this one might be my favorite actual shooter out of them. This thing hits, hits really good. And those were a mix. Part of that was 124 grain uh, American Eagle, and then like the second mag was some kind of 115 grain reload junk. So, you know, this thing's a shooter. I like it. So now that you've seen how this thing shot, I have to say that this gun impressed me more than any gun I've seen in a very long time. I took this thing after we shot it, I carried it all over the place, I've carried it around, it's comfortable, it's light, and I ended up buying it for myself. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. The gun feels comfortable, it's easy to carry, the sights are wonderful, the mushy trigger that I thought was gonna be bad is not mushy when you shoot, the thing shoots great. Everything about this gun I enjoyed. I liked how it feels in my hand despite having large hands and the grip being very small. All in all, I would rate this gun like nine out of a 10 and the only thing I give 10s to is things like SDIs and stuff that are absolutely perfect. For what this thing is, as a little carry gun, it is unbeatable. So if you guys are looking for a little carry piece, I would definitely you know, go out and grab one of these. This is something that ought to be in everybody's collection. If you really want a cool configuration, holler at us at Mr. Guns and grab you one of the tack pack versions. All right, guys, remember, the gun world is a community. Everybody, you guys be nice to each other. Until we see you next time, y'all take it easy. America!